Survival horror games provide players with an especially unique experience. They give gamers a chance to interact with worlds or situations that can scare the crap out of them, and otherwise would probably mortify us all if we encountered them in real life. And there's a lot of games out there that are achieving this desired effect in exceptional ways. So today we're counting down the top 10 scary video games you shouldn't play. But like, actually you probably should. Maybe not alone though. Now we've talked a lot about some pretty terrifying video games on previous lists on this channel. So this time around we're still keeping it spooky and scary, but looking at a few more indie games that we haven't touched on before. And also before we begin, real quick plug, if you like this list, make sure you head on over to our other channel Top 10 Nerd and check out some awesome lists about comics. That being said, let's jump in. And at number 10 is Lone Survivor. Let's start off our list with a survival horror trend that's been picking up some hype in the past few years. So Lone Survivor is a side-scrolling 2D game that places you right in the midst of a post-apocalyptic disaster's aftermath, and everyone is pretty much a zombie. And what's cool about it, and differentiates it from other side-scrolling horror games like Home, is that it plays with a psychological component, where you also navigate the hallucinations spawned by the trauma of being completely alone in a world now consumed by the undead. And at number 9 is Pamela. In this open-world first-person shooter survival horror, you work along Alongside AI Pamela, as you navigate a once utopian world that has now fallen apart and is overrun with monsters called the Afflicted. You wake up from cryo sleep and have to fight your way through the once prosperous Eden, with the potential to make decisions that have dire consequences. You can customize weapons and even make bio augmentations to your own body. Developers have stated that the game explores the unforeseen consequences of humanity's race for technological and biological advancement. Also, kind of looks a little bit like Prey. Just a thought. And at number eight is Visage. This is one of the only games that you can't actually play on this list because it hasn't been released yet. Now, if you never got to play PT, this game may actually ease that pain a little bit when it comes out. So, you explore an old house, and of course, it's filled with surprises. Incredibly traumatizing and hellish surprises. It's also much more than a house. And the sound design? Well, it's absolutely brilliant in the way that it manages to compel you and put you on edge, long before horrors even start popping out. Many refer to this game as a spiritual successor to PT. <laughs> and if that doesn't sell you on it, check out the gameplay and you'll see why. And at number 7 we have We Happy Few. In this game, you play a character named Arthur Hastings, who is trying to escape a city called Wellington Wells. It's set in an alternate timeline that occurs in a retro-futuristic 1960s England, and the citizens of Wellington Wells use something called Joy, which is essentially a drug that allows them to forget the guilt of the terrible things that exist in their world, and live happy lives. Arthur stops taking his Joy, and is now starting to feel again, and become depressed and upset about things. The game is creepy and depressing, and has a very Stepford Wives meets Clockwork Orange feel to it. Check out the trailer. What you should do is Join the fun! Up next at number 6 is Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now we've mentioned this game before on a few of our other lists, but it had to make a spot on this one. It's just so damn disturbing. So essentially it's a first person shooter survival horror where you wake up in a desolate castle, all while dealing with troubled memories. Meshing a terrifying environment with the horrors of the human mind, this game is incredibly immersive, and you are only armed with the ability to hide and run. Up next at number 5 is Insanidade, aka Insanity. This Brazilian game is free to download. And and it tells the story of a man whose wife has died five years prior. The protagonist decides to take matters into his own hands and go after the murderer, who, after killing his wife with a hammer, was sent to an insane asylum. And off to the insane asylum you go, where needless to say some pretty scary stuff goes down. There's also a picture of the same flower everywhere, so there's that, just saying. And at number 4 is Paranormal. This game randomly generates the experience you'll undergo, making the gameplay and its hauntings have a specifically unique and unpredictable effect. YouTuber Bloody Disgusting describes this one as a game version of Paranormal paranormal activity, and it's pretty fitting. The game follows an artist who noticed some weird things going on in his gallery space. Using a camcorder, you guide him as he explores the space and aims to prove the paranormal activity he's been spotting is not just a work of fiction. Up next at number 3 is Claire. Claire is an indie game that many reviewers out there have been calling the side-scrolling version of Silent Hills. In the game, you play as a young woman named Claire, who must escape from strange, twisted shadow creatures who are hunting her down. Alone and lost, she's only armed with a flashlight, and her only companion is her dog as she searches for her 
comatose mother. The game was initially announced on Steam Greenlight and of course now is available on Steam. Up next to number 2 is Scorn. Inspired by H.R. Giger, the artist responsible for the aesthetic of the alien from Alien, this game is not for the faint of heart. It's some serious nightmare fuel. The environments are horrific and the exploration is quite unsettling. Epsoffer says of the game, I quote, Isolated and lost inside this dreamlike world, you will explore different interconnected realms in a non-linear fashion. The unsettling environment is a character itself. Emma is pretty scarce in this game, causing this first person shooter game to make players question whether to take the offensive approach or hide and flee. The game is available in two parts, with the first already released on Steam in early 2017. And finally, in our number one spot is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. In terms of gameplay, this one's much more simplistic compared to the other Five Nights at Freddy's games, and one of its many criticisms is how it's departed from the gameplay of its predecessors. But that simplicity is what makes it truly terrifying. You're in a child's bedroom, and there's a few basic things you have to do to keep Freddy and his buddies away. It's the ultimate tension builder Play through. that unleashes some extremely scary jump scares, and just makes you want to crawl into bed and never look at anything ever again. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these games do you really want to play? And do you want to know more horrifying games that you probably shouldn't play but really want to anyway? Let us know in those comments below. And of course, if you dug this video, hit those like and subscribe buttons and show us some love. Then head on over to Top 10 Nerd and check out some of those lists too. I promise, they're a good time. But for now, I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.